Okay, let's go ahead and do the 2022 AMC 10B problem 16. This was also the 12B problem 13. The diagram below shows a rectangle with side lengths four and eight and a square with side length five. Three vertices of the square, one, two, three, lie on three different sides of the rectangle as shown. What is the area of the region inside both the square and the rectangle. Mm, okay, so it's this question mark region right here. In the original problem, it shaded, but I'm gonna need to work in that space, and so I can't shade it with my dark marker. I will have to erase all of that and take a lot of time. So the question marks represented that. Let's think about how we can start. We're looking for this region. What could we consider it? Ah, well, one way would be it's a trapezoid because you're going to have this piece and this piece, and this is the height. Well, we know what this one is. It's 5. It told us that the side length was 5, so 4 is going to be here and here, and that means this is 3. One thing I didn't know was whether or not they meant this to be the 8 or this to be the 8. Turns out it's not going to matter. So we know that this part is definitely three. The next thing that we wanted to do, I did try several things in here. I tried like cutting over to here and trying to divide like that. In fact, on my actual solution, I cut across this way and made a triangle five by that length. Once I found it over here, we'll get there in a second, and then added this rectangle. But right now live, I'm observing that there's also a trapezoid there. And so I want to try and go ahead and capitalize on that trapezoid if possible. Let's see if we can do it. So uh, one thing is I'm going to call this angle A. And I'm going to call this angle B. Make that A a little bit larger maybe for those of you in the back. <laughs> uh, a up here, B here. Now think about it for a second, okay? Um, this angle is 90. And A plus B is 90. Then also B is alternate interior, it makes sense, but this is also 90, which means that is also A. And since that's A, this will be B over here. And so now we're going to have similar triangles here and here. And so because we have similar triangles, let's call this X over here. I'm going to say the side opposite A is X. Here the side opposite A is 3. Then I have the side opposite B is 5, and the side opposite B is 4. So now we're going to multiply by 3 on both sides. You could cross multiply, but you would end up immediately dividing. So this is going to be 15 over 4. Since the whole thing is 5, 5 would equal 20 over 4. That means this piece is 5 over 4. So now we can utilize the average of the bases times the height. I'm going to make this uh, 20 over 4 like it says here. That way I can add them and divide by 2 easier. So base 1, 20 over 4. Base 2, 5 over 4. Divided by 2, that's the average of the bases, times the height. The height is going to be this length here, which also happens to be 5. I'm going to make this 25 over 4. And then uh, that's over 2, and then it's times 5. Whenever you have fraction with this single number down here, you can multiply these. So you're going to get 25 over 8 times 5 is 125 over 8. Okay, but now when we look, we don't see anything like that. So we're going to have to figure out what it is as a mixed number. 8 times 15, 120. And so we got five extra left over. You're going to have eight times 15 plus five. So that means this is all over eight. So this part will become 15. And then you'll have five eighths. Answer choice D. I was trying to circle the 15 and five eighths, but we'll just go with the box now. Let's go ahead and get the next one done.